Hi guys, so this week I'm in Scotland and Edinburgh for the Fringe Festival. Let's take a look around this beautiful city and check out the show that I'm working for this week. My role up at Edinburgh Fringe Festival was as acting technical production manager for the show Wren, I Said Yes to Everything. This superbly choreographed show has already been described as a mix between Cirque du Soleil and Bjork, which I couldn't agree with more. But the show in itself has so much more depth to that that you really just have to go and absorb this stellar performance for yourself. I was only up there for the first week of the previews to make sure everything ran perfectly, but couldn't miss the opportunity to speak to the super talented Ren and get her perspective on her beautiful solo show. So Ren, uh, without giving too much away, okay. how, how do you feel? What is the show to you? What's, what's the meaning of the show to you? Uh, um, well, this is a story for me, about the personal journey w between me and my soul. Somebody came up to me after the show the other day and I was able and asked me more about it and I was able to tell them about the time that I uh, recognized, for the first time recognized my own mind. Um, and I was quite old, I was like 22. And I, I had been raised in a religion and thought I knew all about myself but then when I started noticing my own thoughts it was like I realized I was a human it was like a, a definite moment in my life that I, I think comes through in all of my songs that I've ever written and um, I, I'm always referring to that experience of, of looking at my mind and trying to if, if I could say anything to my daughter or like young people it would be like you can you can listen to yourself like you will always lead your way if you if you let yourself and you can go into the world and teach yourself all these lessons with all the mistakes you're gonna make and look at everything you can teach yourself whether you're making mistakes or, or getting it right that you're always getting it right On the, f the fringe itself, yeah. you've done, is it two other performances as well? So you did one yeah. in, on the campsite near you, was it? Yes, so I'm, I'm camping with my daughter and they have a teepee with little open mic scenarios. But they asked me to do a proper little set. And I <laughs> just sang my acoustic songs and told them, this isn't anything like my show. <laughs> but if you want to come, here's some flyers. It was really nice to just even have the ability to fill, the, fill a space in front of an audience and represent the same message no matter how it's told. Yeah. The best of the fringe at the assembly garden Yeah, is this a George theater. Square Gardens or something? Yeah. yeah, and also they, they let me sing in their gala, their opening gala, so amongst other artists, so the whole audience was getting a little pick of every every a bunch of different shows yeah. and I felt honored to be able to do that I just feel grateful every time I get to sing basically in front of an audience because to me that's my journey that's that's my craft 
more than making a show, it's doing it, you know, being in the moment. How was that? That was okay. I'm so grateful. <laughs> really good response, isn't it? Yeah. If I talk about it, I'll start crying. <laughs> <laughs> Putting the show together in this way, debuting it at the Edinburgh French Festival, is super exciting. And the most exciting is finally adding this final collaborator, which is the audience which I've been waiting for for like all these years, like, and now the audience. <laughs> and so the other day at the first preview, I was there with an audience, and for the first time, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice yet, like, how dramatic this show is and emotional. Like, I was crying last night at the yeah. end, and that's, like, it just goes to show you have so much to discover still, like, as a performer, as, as a person in the audience, like, it's always gonna be a journey. It's never ending. And the journey is the destination. And for sure, for sure, that's an easy way to describe what my show's about. Like, the journey is the destination. There's this journey this character takes. And um, it's my journey, it's your journey. Working the previews at Edinburgh Fringe Festival with Ren and the team, bringing this production together for the general public has been so rewarding. But there are two main things from this experience that I will take away and never forget. The first is one thing Ren said to me in our interview, that the journey is the destination. I'm sure you could interpret that into hundreds of different meanings, but personally to me, it simply says that life is too short and that you need to enjoy it whilst you can. And secondly, was something that she said on one of the performance nights that I was fortunate to capture on camera. So here it is. Okay, okay. So I just want to say one more thing. It's about the title. I said yes to everything. Um, I hope you don't mind me bringing this up. Um, I did do that. And it um, brought me to this place right now where I'm standing in front of you and I wanted to say that the most important thing that I learned was that I always just needed to say yes to myself and maybe maybe you know how that feels or if you don't I hope you do someday. <laughs>